and welcome back to my channel. Hello, patrons. All right, so this is a yes or no career reading. So all for career, yes or no. We're gonna get into it. Um, you have four options to choose from before I get into which option is which. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the sub button as well as the bell notification. I drop videos weekly. Um, if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're not a patron, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below to become one because I have monthly giveaways that I do exclusively just for my patrons, just, just for my patrons. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, please do so. Um, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for that information. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So this is going to be option number one, the How Light. Option number two, what's the name of this stone? Um, definitely, it's a peacock stone. I don't know the official name, but we call it peacock stone for the sake of the video. Rose quartz, option number three, and calcite, option number four. Take the time out to pause the video, see which of these options you feel resonate with you the most. And then we're gonna get into our message with my jumbo playing cards. Um, the yes or no in regards to your career question and any other messages that we can get from it so we'll pull from here and if need be i got some backup decks and any advice that uh, may be for you all who chose this particular option so let's get into it option number one so universe thank you for the channel messages for those who chose option number one for their requests the question that they're asking you know what you um let me do this a little bit simpler for their request, guys, thank you for the chat messages. Is it a yes? Or is it a no? So let's see. Two, three. Yes or no? So yeah, and I'm gonna read. I read the playing card, you all. Um, upright energy only. We have the Queen of Swords that came out in the uprights. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Ace of Swords. This is definitely something that you've really been wanting. This is definitely feeling like a yes. I feel like for some of you, this is a promotion. For others of you, uh, maybe you're asking in regards to a program, um, a university, uh, certification. This is definitely a yes in regards to should you proceed with that path? Should you proceed with... Uh, asking for this promotion should you proceed in applying to this place but this feels like something you've already embarked upon something that you've already applied for so definitely i'm not getting in regards to uh this being a situation where it's like you're asking will i or should i apply um this is something that you feel very decided on that's not to say that you aren't asking about something where you want to know will i or should i apply but definitely um this is something that you feel very decided on. And I'm hearing that the outcome is going to turn out very well. It's going to be an outcome that you that favors you, something that you want. So let's see. Let's get some cards. We need some advice for those who chose this particular option. Advice for those who chose this particular option universe. We have, look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. So this is about having confidence and and, and boldly going for what it is that you know is yours because the outcome for you is going to be amazing. Universe, give some advice for those who chose this option. Surrender to your soul's path. Look at that. Surrender to trust. So you're being told to trust the situation. Surrender to out outdated beliefs about yourself. Surrender to your soul's path. It's going to turn out amazing for you. You're already decided. You know what it is that you want to do. So now walk boldly in that decision. All right, option number one, that's what I have for you all. Let me know in the comment section below how you felt about this reading. Did it resonate? Did it not resonate? Like, comment, share, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And once again, book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, or become a patron if you're not watching this on Patreon. Become a patron of mine. Uh, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. And let's get into it with our second option, the Peacock Stone. There's like a second word to this stone, you all. Um, but I can't think of it at the moment. The universe, thank you for the channel messages. For those who chose option number two, is this a yes or a no? For the request, give me one more. Is this a yes or 
is this? And now. We got the seven of pentacles that came out. Ooh, seven of cups that came out. Seven, seven. Now, if that was like another seven, you all, that would have been dope. We got the queen of cups that came out. Two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So, option number two, you are less, less, that is not a word. You are less decided than option number one. This is something that you're very invested in, or at least the idea. You might be, this could be about you starting a business. Um, you might be trying to secure funding for that, a loan of some sort. This is definitely something that you're very passionate about. So something you're very invested in, something that you're very passionate about. But this also feels like something that's going to happen maybe a bit down the line and by down the line i just mean maybe some a few months more a few weeks more just a timeline a little bit outside of the timeline that you want this isn't a no but it is a not right now there's more options for you to explore in this situation there's more for you to take into consideration there's more preparation work that needs to be done on your end so definitely this is not a no but it is a not right now so not even a maybe this is a for sure so it is a yes but not right now that's what i'm getting with that one but definitely i'm saying that this is something that you're very passionate about something you're very invested in but it feels still very premature like we don't have any energies of the page but it still feels like a very premature energy that's coming out about this situation so universe thank you for the channel messages give me advice for those who chose option number two any advice for those who chose option number two surrender your ego so even with the surrender your ego you might have too much attached to the outcome of this situation and maybe that's what's kind of stopping you from making a clear decision or maybe in your heart of hearts you know that there's something better in regards to seeing this situation coming to fruition for you so universe thank you for the channel messages any advice for those who chose option number two so we got three with those Surrender to the wisdom of your body. So listen to your intuition. Allow you, allow your mind, your mental, your body to, to lead you down the path that you know you're supposed to go with the situation. So let's see. Surrender the habit of people pleasing. That's too why you're not. I feel like for some of you, this is a path that maybe differentiates from what you know, what you're used to. But this is a path of, of something that you really want to embark on. But there could be some fear there also. And then surrender frustration. Yeah, you're attached to, I feel like you're attached to the out outcome or attached to the date of this situation. For some of you, this feels like you're trying to manifest a new job, just period, point blank, new employment, a new situation. This is a, you know, it's that 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 best, you know, that, that wishful thinking in a perfect world, this is what I'd be doing. Maybe for some of you with the surrender your ego, it's gonna require you to, uh, do more work in regards to maybe educate yourself a little bit further, get some more um, credentials and expertise. And so, you know, you, you're being told to surrender your ego in regards to, you know, you got to do what you got to do if you truly want this path. So what I'm getting is not a no. Um, essentially, it's a yes, but it's a not right now. That's what I'm getting for you. All right, you all, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, like, comment, share, subscribe if you care to, if you're watching this on YouTube. And book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me. Or become a patron if you're not watching this on Patreon. Uh, pin comment below as well as the description box below. And let's move on to our third option, the beautiful Rose Quartz. Actually, all these songs are just super lovely. I'm loving them. But yeah. Option number three. In regards to the career question that you're asking, is this a yes or a no? Thank you, universe, for the messages. Is this a yes or a no for option number three? Or is this a yes or a no? Option number three. All right. We have the Knight of Pentacles that came out in the upright. We have the King of Wands that came out in the upright. And then we have the Nine of Cups that came out. And the, well, they're all in the upright, but we have the Nine of Cups that came out. And then Two of Wands at the bottom of the deck again. 
Hmm. This is a yes. You're being told to strike out in boldness with this King of Wands. You have to up your confidence. It may be some blockages um, in your solar plexus chakra. You might need to clear that. But definitely, you're being told to strike out in boldness. I feel like you're ready. You have all the tools. See, what's coming through for those of you who chose option number, I wanted to say deck number three. Option number three, I feel like this is something you've been prepared for for quite some time. You've been holding off, holding off, holding off. I feel like also for some of you, something always seems to get in the way or you you may end up with an easier, taking the easier way out or the easier decision. It feels like you all may deal with people or things that get in the way of you pursuing this situation, but you're being told to strike out in boldness. Look, you've already taken your time. You, you, you've dotted your I's and crossed your T's. You know, strike out in boldness and confidence with this King of Wands because once again, like with option number, what was it? Number one, the outcome is going to work out in your favor. This is for you. This is something that you've really been wanting. This may, this particular um, career or business venture that you're asking about may require you to move. I am feeling that energy. It may require you to move away from your current current place of residency, maybe even out of state for some of you out of country, or this could be a job that heavily involves traveling. And maybe that's, that's what you're kind of on the fence about. Like, do I take this? I, I might not be away a lot. For some of you, maybe you have a family and that was the concern there. Like, you know, I'm going to be traveling, but I have a wife and a kid or I have a husband and some kids or a dog and some, you know, whatever combination, but family that you um, you have obligations towards, but that's something that you're wanting. And what I'm hearing is um, if there is a family involved, your family will be able to come, you know, so maybe this is somebody, you know, life is being uprooted, but still it's going to work out in your favor. Also, what I'm hearing you all, somebody might be going into the military or you may already be in the military or someone in this family dynamic, you know, the immediate is in the military. And this is why you're kind of like, though you, this is an expertise of yours, you're on the fence because it's like, but it's going to pull us apart. But overall, I'm getting a, a strong yes. It's, and it's time. It's overdue. It's time for you to strike out in boldness. This is a part of your soul's journey, your purpose. And you can't ever, you know, even if you don't do it when you felt it to do, you can't give away your purpose, but definitely you can make the choice to not realize that dream and but that's not what you want to do so let's see universe give me some advice for those who chose option number three give me some advice for those who chose option number three look surrender to passion this is something you want to do and the king of wands is the king of passion surrender to passion look at that surrender to the wisdom of your body you know what you want to do you gotta you gotta strike out in boldness you know, it is a, what you want to do. And look, surrender negative thinking. Surrender the what if it goes wrong? What can go wrong? What, what, what? That is none of your business. Because right here, this nine of cups is telling you if you have a high likely chance that this is not going to go wrong and it's overdue for you taking this chance. So strike out. Go ahead, be brave, do it. And if anything falls away by the wayside, then it wasn't meant to be. Whatever falls away by the wayside and you pursuing what's meant for you wasn't meant for you to begin with. That's what I have for you. All right, so option number three, you all, uh, give this video a like, comment, share, subscribe. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, um, or if you become a patron if you're not already, watching this on Patreon. Check the pin comments below as well as the description box below. And yeah, let me know how you feel in the comment section below you all. And let's move on to our last option, option number four. All right, so universe, for those who chose option number four, career question. Is this a yes? Is this a no? For those who chose option number four. Is this a yes for option number four? Or is this... No, let's see. Should I put my... Do I want to go? Yeah, we're going to go here. 
two, three, four. I'm actually filling four for you all. Option number four, we have King of Wands, Trey Songs that ended up at the bottom of the deck. Hmm. King of Swords in the upright. Four Swords in the upright. Ooh. Knight of Swords in the upright. Eight of Swords. Wow, I keep saying the upright because I'm so used to, do, to, to doing the readings with the tarot where you can see the reverse, but with these cards, you know, they, either way is, a, is a up or down. Hmm. This is, this is definitely a no. This is a no. This is a strict no. It's, and I feel like this situation that you're asking about, you can revisit this maybe sometime in the future. You're not prepared enough. That's what I'm getting with this. You're not prepared enough. You might even be asking about taking a position where it's going to cause for you to move somewhere. You're not prepared enough. There's not enough money for some of you. Maybe you're wanting to quit your job. You don't have anything else lined up. You don't have enough money saved up to take care of you in the event of not finding something this month, this month, this month, this month. Um, the situation with unemployment may be shaky. Like, this is a no. You're not prepared. You're being told to hold off. Whatever this is, you're being told to hold off for the time being. Do not rush in like this Knight of Swords. Don't rush in. Because you you all know in the traditional tarot, the person, do, 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 all that wind blowing, the, the horse look like it's about to, you know, collapse. And it just, no, no. Even with this, look at that. The Eight of Swords, Eight of Spades. Restriction. You're being told to stay restricted. For Not that you are restricted, as in like this could never be but in a way there are restrictions there because you're not prepared enough so it is a restriction it's a restriction on your end and a universal restriction this is this is like your father energy that masculine no somebody is putting a foot down up that no no i said no even look at his face he's like no his eyes are even off to the side like look tell us somebody that cares no <laughs> So most definitely, this is um, this is not an impossibility. It's not something that could never happen, but you're not ready yet. This is a strong, no. This is the type of situation, if you embark on it too soon, not to say that, once again, not saying that you can never pursue this, but you have got to get fully prepared. If you, and, and for some of you, if you're watching this and you're trying to, you want to quit a job or start something new and you don't have anything lined up, um, yeah, this is, you're not prepared. That's your no. Um, but yeah, this is something if you start before you're fully prepared, you are going to regret it. It is going to be uncomfortable. Not the good kind of uncomfortable where it's like, you got to get uncomfortable in order to grow. But the bad type of uncomfortable where it's like, oh hell, what did I do? And it's going to leave you in a worse situation that you're, that you're trying to get out of. Let's see, universe. Any advice for those who chose option number four? Advice for those who chose option number four. Advice for those who chose option number four. We have Surrender to Passion that came out at the bottom of the deck again. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. Surrender to Passion, bottom of the deck. Surrender to Complete Healing. You got to get fully prepared. Surrender to Setting Limits. I feel like for some of you, you may be competing with friends. And even with the Surrender to Passion, maybe you're being told to, you know, and look at that comparison to the And then underneath that. Surrender unhealthy relationships and then surrender to spirit. Like, I feel like for some of you, there's something that you're wanting. There's something that you feel very connected to, but you, you're just not prepared. Even with the surrender to complete healing and surrender to sad limbs. I'm feeling like for some of you, maybe you have a friend group or a, 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 keeping up with the Joneses type of thing. And it's like, but I want to be on this. Eh, leave all that alone because... And you trying to chase after somebody else's something and not focusing on your own or not fully being equipped and being ready for your own, you're going to mess yourself up in ways that you definitely are not setting out to do. So listen to your spirit, listen to yourself, listen to your divine and no, not right now. This And this is not the not right now where it's like, you know, not right now, but give it a no. This is a you. This is a no. Not that it could never happen, but you are not ready. That's what I got with that. All right, option number four, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. Give this video a like, comment, share, or subscribe if you feel compelled to. Let me know in the comment section below how you feel about this, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, and 
And if you're not watching this on YouTube, thank you, patrons. If you are not a patron, become a patron of mine. I do exclusive giveaways monthly. Uh, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for that giveaway, as well as book a private reading, coaching, and consultation session with me. Pin comment below as well as the description box below. And I'll be seeing you all on the next one. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.